Hello everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Are you ready for another fun-filled episode of the Never Endless Pages Ideas for Your Junk Journals? Uh, today we have got the old uh, prehistoric <laughs> uh, page idea uh, uh, list here and we are working down the list and today the next one is number 17 round the world staple stencils not staples oh there's another idea though somebody write that down um round the world stencils so this is another very easy very simple way uh to decorate your junk journal um us uh, one concept we're going to use four different ways as we traverse through a junk journal and this particular junk journal has four signatures so i'm just putting one of these ideas in each signature but if you have fewer signatures um you can do it through the same signature. It's, it's absolutely fine. So it's not dependent on how many signatures you have because the idea will look different as we, we, as we travel through our books. Okay, so basic supplies today. Um, your junk journal pages, whether they're in a book or not, you can do uh, this technique. I am going to be working with my Pilo stencils. And I just thought I'd grab some smaller ones because they're easier to manipulate when you're going around the world. It's just a little bit easier. Not mandatory. You can use your big ones, but just pick out some that you like. And uh, then I have uh, just a couple different, um, actually I have about four different colors here. These are the, pri the primary four colors I usually use. Walnut stain, peeled paint or forest moss are my greens. Black soot is my black. And uh, Broken China, I've got a bunch of different blues, but I just grabbed this one today. Broken China, and today's pink is Kitsch Flamingo. And um, still like warm lipstick, and I just haven't used it. Uh, I just like playing with Kitsch Flamingo right now. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, oh, and did I show you my daubers, my Boxo daubers? And uh, like, what a, what a hot mess, right? But that's how you spell daubers. Isn't that weird? It's not D-O-B-B-E-R-S. I'm still always flabbergasted by that because I just want to say D-O, or spell it D-O-B-B-E-R-S. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go through and I'm going to pick a page where it's a little like, you know, like, like maybe like not too exciting. We've got some blank pages in here. Um, let's maybe do this one. This is a nice page. And I'm just going to pick... Um, Here's a nice uh, stencil with some pretty flower images on it. Different ones to pick from here. So basically the round the world is, I'm just gonna go around the world and just put the stencil on the edges. So we can do this relatively quickly. Maybe I'll use Kitsch Flamingo right now. And grab yourself a pink or pinkish or some, or you can use a paddle brush. I've been using lots of paddle brushes here and I got one with some pinky stuff on it. So let me, let me use that one. And you can make these the same color, different colors, totally up to you. You can have the total stencil, oh, I don't know if you can see that very well, on the page, or you can have it hanging off. I think I'm gonna have it hanging off a little bit and, and maybe sliding the stencil back across the spine so I can get the stencil to actually start close to the spine. And maybe I'll just a little bit there. And all this excitement does happen rather quickly, so hang on to your hats. You can just use whatever's left over on your, your brush. These paddle brushes do hold a lot of ink, so um, I don't know, I just think it makes a really pretty pretty uh, uh, frame or border for your journal. Maybe you don't want to add a lot of bulk, but you want to have a little pizzazz. Nothing wrong with a little pizzazz. A little inspiration, a little uh, launching pad. Yeah, yeah, there, we're done. Okay, I mean, that was pretty easy, right? Very beautiful little border, very quick, very easy. To enhance it a little bit more, you can come around, and it's probably actually to do better with a, a uh, um, not the paddle brush for this, but use one of these uh, brushes. This has a foam uh, bottom, or you can use a felt bottom one, but uh, it, it just kind of sets it off nicely if you, you ink up the edges with a similar color. It will just look really cute. And you can come down here and do this deal. I don't mind if I get a little color on that. I think that's pretty. But it just kind of brings everything in. Vignettes it a little bit. You know what I mean? If that's a verb, we're vignetting. There we go. Now you could put lines on here. You could put a pretty poem. You could put a picture. But it's also a very nice invitational space for somebody to, to do some junk journal writing on. Okay, so that's idea number one. You're just basic one color around the block. And these were hanging off the edge just a little bit, so I get them taken right to the edge. Okay, so let's just continue. Okay, let's go into signature number two. And we'll just start flipping through. Or see, like, oh, okay, maybe a little something. Okay, here's a contender. Here's this guy. He's a contender. There's this one. Maybe this one, huh? We've got some stencils there, though. Oh, we got a pink one here. 
Oh, we got lots of possibilities in here. So see, I, there's still a lot of pages that we could have fun with in here. And okay, so there's some stenciling there. So I'm kind of d judging it by how close or how far away do I want from other stenciling. And I guess for me, I just want it a little bit further away. Maybe on this back page, that would be nice. But you know what, that's also the same color. So I wanna show you different, how it can look different. So we're gonna work on this pink page. This is an avocado dyed page. It doesn't have to be a pink page, but I'm just saying so you can see different looks. Okay, so maybe this time we're gonna do a similar concept. We're gonna go around, but we're gonna use multiple uh, colors. And uh, let's do something completely different. Okay, so let's see these, uh, these squares. These squares, I think this is from Tim Holtz if you're looking for that one. Um, and let's just put that down. I'm just gonna do like maybe a little square ridge. I'm gonna try some walnut stain and distress oxide. I'm gonna try and find the brown uh, paddle brush. I, I think it's kind of like my everything paddle brush. We might use that one. I know there's another one in here. Maybe this one? Eh, eh, I don't know. Uh, let's use this one. Okay, I did have a brown one though. Where is it? Where is it? I gotta find it now. Who's looking brown? Who's, yeah. Okay, there's all my paddle brushes. This is my old worn soldier. He broke, but I, I still love him. Okay, maybe, okay, maybe you. You might have been brown. Okay, so here we go. Loading, loading. And, and you can put, like if you're unsure and you want to have a little protection behind what you're doing, it is okay to put um, a little paper behind it. I know, I know, right? Uh, okay, here we go. And the, it doesn't always have to be the same depth of color. It can vary, which is very nice. Yeah, okay, see, I didn't quite get into the corner there. Let me, let me go back there a little bit. Do a little more corner stenciling. And there is even one of these little skinny doodads. It usually comes, these come in a set of five usually. And right here, that's where this little guy is very handy. Let's get our brown. And I don't use him all that often, but every once in a while, it doesn't hurt to get a little skinny brush. So you can get in there and do some stenciling um, in that little corner. Okay, so let's keep going here. I do like the half on, half off technique. Gonna be, oh, I said I was gonna do different colors, right? No, that didn't go very well, did it? All right, so um, uh, let's switch. We're gonna switch. We're just gonna go somewhere else to a different color. Maybe green? Okay, peeled paint. Let's try that one. This is a regular Distress Ink. I think I have one of these that's a, a bluey green. Mm -hmm. Was it you? It could have been you. All right, just get in there and color you up. Okay, here we go. Um, just going to do a little. Okay. Are we getting some green? A little bit of green is coming there. Okay. You can see? Yep, okay. So how's your day going? Are you having a good time? Are you getting some good old paper time in here? This almost looks like crocodile look in a way. Okay, then let's let's uh, let's maybe be really bold and we'll just do all around different colors. Let's go with uh, broken china. I know, right? Because you can play. You're allowed to play and have fun. It doesn't have to be all serious and and painful pants. No, it can be fun and it's okay. Um, all right, so let's see. Still hanging off. Okay. okay, I'm not gonna actually color anything off here, so I don't need to, to block it. Okay, that looks kind of cool. Yeah, I'm looking at. Okay, here we go. And we make need to come in with that that one little guy again. That's all right. All right, where are you? I'm here. Okay, very good. I'm ready. Take me to the spine. Okay, here we are. You're in the spine and you're doing your thing. Okay. There we go, very good. And now we just have this side. Now you could do three sides if you don't want to monkey with that, but let's monkey with it and see what happens. Um, okay, here we go. We're gonna get all snuggly pants in there. And then we are going to grab this, these might, okay, I think I'm gonna use a little skinny guy. That's me, I'm, this is, I'm, I'm up and close and personal with the spine. Okay, let's try this. We wanna do, what color do you wanna do? Black. Okay, well, you're, you're going bold. Yep, you're no, like no pussyfooting around today. We are going in there, cross-pollinating our inks, and we are going to stencil. Okay, let's see how this works. Actually, can I do that? No, I'll still have to squash it in the center here somehow. Okay, just do it. Okay, sometimes less fussing, less talking, more creating. <laughs> there we go, there we go, okay. All right, that's where the fun happens. I mean, push your own little envelope. You know, this is um, 
it may be a good little series if you're going through a journal and you're creating it and you're just like, I need some ideas. There you go. Uh, just a random idea here and there. If you want the um, page list idea printed out for you, um, where is that thing? I don't know, it's around here somewhere. But that page list of ideas I have I added to my free monthly emailed uh, newsletter. It will be on every um, installment of it, so uh, er, er, issue of it. So if you want to sign up for that, starting in April 2022, it will be on every issue. And it's at the bottom in the freebie section along with your free uh, printable digital image each month. Now this wider and that skinnier, it could be okay. Or you could be like, hey, I, I need a little more. Okay, we'll do a little more. And um, uh, you're also going to get a checklist of supplies. It's like seven or eight pages long. Just kind of fun things you can keep your eyes open for in the world of junk journals. When you're starting your collection process of goodies, which is so much fun. And it's, it's you know, when people say, I don't have anything. I, I think that's the most wonderful place to be because then everything is your supply. And you're just going to start to see the possibility in all these wonderful things out there. And you're going to be like, oh, I could put that in a junk journal. I could put that in a junk journal. Yes, yes, you can. Okay, so this is that kind of look using different colors all the way around. Very pretty, huh? Yeah, very fun. And again, somebody could do whatever they like in there. Moving right along, we are cruising into signature number three, and we will be doing a, another. What, what are you? Oh, I have no idea. Um, I'll put you over there. And um, I was probably, I had a purpose that, for that for something. Okay, we haven't done one of these pages yet. Maybe we'll do one of these. Okay, so now, let's see. Here's a small uh, vine design, like a, an ivy design. I think that's kind of pretty. That might look nice on here. Okay, let me do the side first. And let's see, what else can we use here? Hang on, let's stencil with something different. Okay, I just grabbed some gilding paste. And you should, you should probably use a glove with this. It's probably highly toxic and it will like make your eyeballs fall out or something. But I'm just going to stick my finger in it because I don't have a glove right now. So there we go. But this is like a waxy paste that has some, this color is antique paste. I guess that's the color. Um, what is it? I can't read anything. Uh, antique gold. And this is made by Pentart. So there's a lot of uh, different gilding waxes and different pastes out there, but find one that you like to work with. Okay, there, I got some on my finger. Okay, now we go down here. Let's see, I, I could probably do this on a little brush too, but let's try the finger. If the finger doesn't work, we'll switch to a different technique. Oh, I'm off the page. Okay, that's all right. Come here. Don't run away. Okay, the finger doesn't really get into the corners as well, but let's just see what we get for a one-time go with the finger technique so you can see how effective a finger is. Is it worth it? Is it total kibosh? Is it like, oh my God, what were you thinking, Sally? Or is it, hey, that's great. I don't even need a tool option. Okay. So basically you just need something to get in there. Um, I wonder if you could use a Q-tip. That's a possibility. All right, maybe we'll try a Q-tip next. All right, there we go. All right, oh, a little more there. I, I forgot to put the page behind, but I don't mind getting a little um, like gilding on other pages. I think it's pretty. Uh, so you have to decide when the mess is your fun, because you could have fun with mess. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what we did here. Oh, okay, so that's kind of cool. All right, let me take you closer so you can get a really good look at it. Okay, so it's kind of random. It's, it's not um, well demarcated, but it's there and it's present and it's showing its face. So let's, let's also continue all the way around so we have some of that. But maybe I'm going to try it. Where are you? Are you under my rolling feet? Nope. You're over there. Okay. I don't think a Q-tip is going to work well. Why? Why do I think it's not going to work well? Because I just, I don't, I don't think it's going to get into the little nooks and crannies as well, but we're going to try it together. Yeah. We're just going to hang out here, the old crafting table, and maybe a round edged one would have been better. Yeah, this is not going to work. <laughs> You ever have like, it's just not going to go. But that's what I did. I kind of like, okay, so if I used this, let's just try and see what happens. I think I want that white paper. Where is it? Where's that white paper? It's gone. Let me get another one. I got a million of them here. Okay, here we go. There we go. All right. Uh, right at the edge. Hang it off a little bit. 
Okay, let's see what we got. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we can, you can get into those corners. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where's the top of the paper? Okay, there it is. Okay, and now gilding wax and gilding paste will be soft initially, and then it will harden or become firm or perma more permanent. Um, so just kind of know that, that it, has, it does dry and, and hold on to what you're working on. Um, it's often used in, you can use it in furniture and like gild some edging of furniture, things like that to give you a little pretty, pretty soft um, accents. Mm, okay, okay, back here. Am I still on the paper? I think so. Okay, it takes a little longer, a little more laborious, but that's okay. It's kind of fun. Kind of painting with this. All right, I'm going to lift up. what I get? Okay, I got, got like a schmooch. Uh, a schmooch. Okay, let me put something there. We seem to be missing something right there. I must have jumped the gun somewhere. Now let me move this. You can actually see what it looks like. Oh, I missed one here. Let me put one there. There's obviously one missing here. It's just so... Um, just stick one there. So if you got an empty spot, you just go back and fill it in. All right. Hmm. Okay. So a softer look, but a gilded look. So you're going to have some gold or brass or something like that on a page, which is very pretty. And you really, you can, you could fold your page, like you could close your page and go on to the next thing. I think with these, it's not that, um, smooshy, but if you're unsure, just put a piece of white paper in between this page and that page, and you don't have to worry it. And then it'll just dry on its own. Um, okay, so we did that. Oh, I have a mid one. I have a mid-sized one. This guy might come in handy. Hello, I'm mid I'm the middle child. I'm the middle child and I might, I might be just perfect for right here. Okay, so I've never, well, or maybe I've probably done this at some point, but I'm going to stick it into my gilding paste. This is kind of soft gilding paste. So sometimes if you get gilding paste and it gets hard, this won't work. <laughs> I don't even know if this is going to work this time, but we're going to use a brush in the gilding paste to see if it works. Okay, here we go. Can you see? Okay, here we go. Oh, that does seem nice. Goes quickly too. One more gilding paste. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got. Ta -da! Okay, all right. Kind of, uh, I thought that was actually pretty easy. So maybe you are my new best friend. I thought so. Okay, you funny, you sound like Sunny. Um, let's just finish up this side using this little guy. Take it home, go, go big or go home kind of thing. Well, we're already home, so we, we don't have to go anywhere. Um, and I'm getting gilding paste all over my page, but I'm going to come along and decorate the page, so we shall see. Here we go, ready? Hold on to your breath. Oh, you're going to do that, are you? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> now, it's a little hard to get in the little corners here, but it's possible. If you like that look. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, kind of schmootsy. Yeah, we got a little schmootz factor going on here. All right. Um, there is one that's missing there, so maybe I can come over and I can put a solid one right on top of all the schmootz and see if we can make it look a little better. Yeah, not so good. Um, that's the way it goes sometimes, though, you know, when you're, you're crafting. So um, you just might get like a pile of schmootz. <laughs> yeah, that happens. All right, so let's see. Now what I could do is I could take this and I could, I could saw, oh, look at that, I'm smearing, look at that. Oh, that's kind of nice, isn't it? Oh, look at that, that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, I got a little bit of gold on there. That's okay, though. Here we go, let's, let's do this and see what happens. We might, have, we might have something going down here now. This might be actually pretty cool. There's a new technique. Okay, so you take that and you smush it. Yeah, let's try that. All right. Edges, softening, softening, just softening and blending, blending and softening. There we go. Oh, this is actually very pretty. Oh, I thought that was going to be a disaster completely, but I think I'm really liking this now. Okay, I like the little speckly areas. You can soften them a little bit more if they're too speckly for you. You just get in there and soften it. Yeah, don't be shy. Just soften. Yeah, okay. And over there. there we go. Hey, that's kind of cool, huh? I mean, it looks really, so look at that. There you, you, you can, when you get the light on it, yeah, now we're talking. It's a gilded page. That's beautiful. Um, that beckons, that harkens, and there you go. We're as good as gold. I know. Um, I was sweating there too. Yep, I was. <laughs> um, but that's the way, that's the way it happens. Okay, let's go into the last one and see what we can make of this. 
Let's find the page in question. Maybe a different kind of page, something. If you got some stencil there, okay, there's this page. I like that though, I wanna leave that for somebody to play with. Um, let's see, oh, we did one, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But well, we have you and, and you have stencil there. So maybe, maybe I could do something on here. Maybe we could just be bold and try it instead of telling ourselves, no, we don't wanna do that. Maybe we will do that and let's just see what happens. Okay, so this time, I think I'm gonna try some script. So this is a script one. I've got different things I can pick from here. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the bigger words here at the top, the O. Okay, let me, let me get my little paper of protection in here. I rarely do, but today, today is one of those days where, yep, I'm going to do it. Okay. And let's try some words. And I think that might make a really cute border. Now, what color? Do you want to go for black or do you want to do the pink? Well, there's pink over here. Pink might actually look pretty cool. So I'm going to grab the Kitsch Flamingo <laughs> and uh, let's try it. We're going to try it with our old friend Paddling Brush. Are you the pink one? No. I'm over here. Okay, here it is. There it is. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, you are up front and center. Let's get some ink on you. And let's do this. Do, 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 do. So pink on blue makes a little bit purple. Okay, that's all right. We like purple. It doesn't have to be the whole word. Like, don't feel like, oh, I didn't get the whole word. It's not going to be right. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm liking that. Okay, maybe I'm going to try some different words down the side. Maybe I'm going to try these other little baby words down the side. Okay. Should I change colors? Maybe, huh? Okay. Let me try the brown. Are you brown? I don't know. You're blue-green. I think you're brown. Okay. The brown is um, uh, bah, bah, bah. walnut stain. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I think it looks like brown. Okay. And maybe we're going to put these other words where the words end here. Keep going with some words. Some different words. I guess you could use smaller. You can use smaller. Okay. Try smaller. Because then I can get in here with this skinny. This is a completely different color. I don't know what's going on. This probably still has some of the gilding paste on it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now this member is going to come out. And of course I over stenciled here because I didn't have my paper in the right place. But I think it looks kind of cool. So we're all good. And maybe now the bottom. Now that I finally figured things out. Maybe just some general script. Okay, let's try that. I don't think these uh, stencils are too hard to find. I think I found them on eBay or Etsy, uh, maybe AliExpress, not sure. But I know that they were everywhere. It's like everywhere you look, you almost start to see the same stencils. Um, yeah, so just kind of know that. Should we do pink again? I think pink again would be nice there. That's my pink paddle. Nope. There's my pink ink. My pink paddle. Okay, here we go. All right. All right. Okay, and we're stenciling. And we're stenciling. That was going to be nice and intense. That would be good. Okay, what do we get? What do we get? Okay, let's move that. Oh, that's very nice. I like that. Okay, so now we're going to need something skinny here. And maybe I don't want to do words all the way around. Maybe I'm going to do a line of some sort. I have this little line stencil in here. Okay, so maybe I'm going to just tuck that little bejeeber right in there. And I'm going to use that little, where are you? I'm here. Okay, I found you. Okay. <laughs> and do you want to use the brown again? Yeah, let's use the brown. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start maybe below the words, getting into the corner as much as possible. And you could put something underneath that. That might actually be a good idea to help raise it up. Let's try that. What do we got? Let's find anything. Okay, how about I have this. I'm going to stick this underneath to elevate the, the spine part in the middle so it comes closer to me. So maybe I can get this stencil closer to the paper. Let's see how we're doing. I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's working. Okay, could try to get it close. You could probably even hold it in your hand. Let's try that. Holding it in the hand, folding it back upon itself, and now coming in with the stencil and wishing you had a third hand to hold the stencil in place, but you don't. So you're finding you're gonna take this and fold it in half, put it under here to have it fold backwards upon itself, like open up the spine really wide. And you're going to use that 
hand that was not present before to do that. And then maybe just a little bit down there. Just a little bit. There we go. All right, so those are words around the world. And I think what might make this page pop just a little bit, if I also do this line here, I think I just think it will look, make it look complete. So let's try that. We, we could be way off, we could be spot on. We are going to find out momentarily whether it was a good idea or did we run off the runway? What did we do? What did we do? Sometimes you never know until you're done. Um, there you go. Okay. So that's kind of a pretty one, right? Using lots of different colors going on here. Very pretty. Pinks and browns used on a bluish uh, teal sort of page. So those are just some fun ideas that you can do with simple um, round the world stenciling. Let's just take a quick peek at the ones we did again. And um, like I said, if you want to sign up for the free monthly emailed newsletter, then um, you will uh, always have that copy of that list and you and I, I typed it all out so it's easy to read so you don't have to read my chicken scratch and um, um, there you go so that there was that other missing one so it must be around here somewhere no not there not there it must be here somewhere feeling presence presence must be present not there not there where are you you left the building you're gone there, I know I did it. You were there with me. We as a guys saw it. Okay, let's keep looking. It is here. Mm-hmm, yep, okay. It really would be a good idea if you mark these, Pam. And everybody could find it. Hang on, let me find it. Okay, found it. This was the crocodile with the squares. Okay, multiple colors. Okay, let me find the next one. This is the uh, smeared gilding technique one, which I think is really pretty. Yeah, it's pretty kind of cool, huh? And you're probably a better stenciler than me, so you'll get it to look really cool. But I think it looks very uh, ancient parchment paper, kind of something special being delivered from the queen. Yeah, that kind of look. All right, there we go. And there is the last one. Very pretty on a colorful page with colorful stencils using script. So if you had fun here, please like, subscribe, and share. And um, welcome everybody who is new. Thank you everybody who's been here and, and just sharing your precious time and, and uh, playing with papers and having fun. Um, I do a podcast. It's um, uh, I talk about, it's called the Paper Outpost Podcast. And um, I talk about junk journals, paper crafting, life of a crafter, answering your crafty questions, often from YouTube here. So um, check that out. You might hear your name. You might hear your question. And uh, often a lot of people have the same question. So um, it might be a great place to get your information. And also um, I'm starting some uh, video podcasts, which are really videos, but uh, those will be on the other days sporadically. I will salt and pepper those in and they may be some flashback videos or maybe a current video, just something I think might be worth knowing at the moment. Um, but the, the Tuesday, Thursday will always be new material, the audio version, and uh, just carrying on with tradition. A lot of people like to listen to this while you know you're walking the dog doing the groceries doing the laundry um, or, and you're just thinking about junk journals and uh, you just want a little more play so um, I did tell you about my free monthly email newsletter so if you haven't signed up for that please go ahead and sign up for that and um, you're gonna get all those goodies as well as junk journal tips updates from me peeks at my digikits and so much more and also um, I have a I have an Etsy shop where you're going to find some completed journals some journal bundles always when I have these available um, and um, you're going to find vintage digi kits which are printable downloads they're um, they come in packs of five pages they're JPEG images and I like to put um, you know they're easy to cut out uh, I try to make them user-friendly once you buy them they're uh, forever stored in your Etsy account so you can print them out as many times as you want and uh, use them any way you like in your uh, junk journals you can uh, uh, print them and, and make things with them and then sell your junk journals that use these items in them that's no problem and um, I have a, if you don't have a printer at home, which I know not everybody does, or it's just too much fuss fuss, I totally get that. Um, I have a print and mail service. So uh, the way I do it is in bulk uh, order. So um, you get 10 digi kits, which gives you 50 printed pages. And I print those out on a lightweight cardstock. So it's very easy just to cut them up and use them immediately for 
uh, journal pockets or journal tucks or um, bookmarks or tags or whatever you like. You can make little covers with them. They're very cute and um, very easy to work with. I also have another section called signature pages uh, and those um, I just made those because I thought people might want some pretty pages that they can just use inside their junk journal that they don't have to do anything with. It's already pre-decorated and people can easily write on these to journal in there. They're light, softer, paler pages um, and uh, they're printed. Uh, if you do the print and mail service with those, these will be on copy paper printed on both sides. So it will make it easy to put into your junk journal. And um, what else? What else can I tell you? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, fundals. I sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers that you might want to add into your junk journals or just uh, leaf through them to explore the uh, historical nature of what is in there. There's um, old antique ledger, vintage ledger, there's uh, old postcards, um, receipts, checks, um, interesting hand dyed papers that I've made, coffee dyed, avocado dyed papers, different kinds of papers and also um, interesting vintage book pages that you might want to maybe uh, there's like poems and plays and there's a um, uh, like a bird nature section um, there is a lot of uh, different kinds of text different kinds of paper from old book books um, so you're going to find a good variety it comes with a hundred pieces in there and um, just very fun if you want somewhere to start and that way maybe you can find out what you really gravitate to and maybe you want to search in your world for similar things such as that so it's a great way to experience a lot of things at one time i also have an amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies like what glue i use or where to find these paddle brushes things like that i have a favorite tools and supplies section uh, I also have a craft storage idea section in there, um, books that junk journalers love to use, uh, like field guides and sticker books and things like that. There's, so there's a book section and also Sunny's favorites. And uh, Sunny, are you here? Do you have something to say? Oh, Mama, I, I, yes, I have something to say. Can you please come and get me? I'm very comfortable, though I will warn you. And I would like you to tell them all what I did this morning because I'm very proud. I am very proud. Okay, let's 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 uh, let's tell them what you did. Okay, here you come. Hi, everybody. I'm I'm looking very serious at the moment. Mom, get the hair fuzz out of my face. Okay. Hi, everybody. It's Sunny, and I went swimming this morning. Yes, I did. I went swimming, and I got out all by myself of the pool. Out I came. Yep. Um, Mom helped guide me, though there was a little guiding going on, and she felt better. So she said we're going to be training once a day until I figure it out completely. <laughs> okay, Mom, that's it. I'm gone. Bye. <laughs> okay. Yes, we are very proud of our little boy. He is back to swimming lessons. It's warm enough now that, that he can he can go in the pool for just for a few minutes. And uh, then I take him out and I go over to the shower and he gets all showered and uh, cleaned off and uh, nice shampoo. This is going to be a very clean dog uh, for the next <laughs> while. Um, probably have to pull out the conditioner. His skin might get a little dry from all that showering. Probably won't like that too much. Okay, we'll, we'll condition him. Don't worry. He'll be okay. And um, pretty much that is it. So, oh, if um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. I have a Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having fun over there. Um... And I'm a merchandise shop. Hey, if you like the Create with Reckless Abandon phrase or Paper Outpost, you can find some awesome sweatshirts, ho zipped hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, totes, all sorts of fun things. Uh, maybe gifts, wonderful gift for yourself or family member, friend. There you go. Remember, most of all, that fun can be simple. Create with Reckless Abandon. And we will be back here very soon having fun with the papers with you guys. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.